Tuesday finally rolled around and I was able to call Phoenix Triumph to see if they had my parts. They don't keep things like that in stock, was what I was told. And uh, when I asked when he'd be able to get the parts, he said five to seven business days. And when I asked when they would be able to get my bike in, he said next week. <laughs> so I hung up, I told him I'd call him back and I did a, a wider search. My thought process was, well, maybe if I find a Triumph dealership in Arizona that has the parts, they can send them to Phoenix Triumph and something will happen and I will be able to get my bike fixed. So I called Tucson Triumph. The guys there were really amazing. They were absolutely accommodating. I told them what was going on with my bike and the BDR and everything. They said that they had priority for travelers when I asked when they could get my bike in. So as soon as the parts were in, they'd be able to work on my bike. They didn't have the clutch plate in stock either. They'd have to orbitite it. And then he asked me if I had called their sister store in Phoenix. I kind of explained to him that they told me that they weren't, wouldn't be able to service my bike until the following week. So he was like, give me a minute and I'll call them. A little while later, he called me back and he's like, it's all worked out. I'm gonna walk them through the process of overnighting your parts. They'll get your parts on Wednesday and hopefully you'll be, they'll be able to fit you in and your bike will be fixed and you can get back on the road. I was like, finally, something is happening. My bike is gonna get fixed. So I went over there and I dropped my bike off Tuesday around noon. So Wednesday comes around, I made this big plan to explore Phoenix since I was gonna be leaving on Thursday. I walked to a little boutique shop, I got a new backpack so I'd have something to carry my stuff around town in. Like, I always pack this little, like, stowable backpack with me and I never use it. And so this trip, I didn't pack it. And of course, this trip is the one time that I needed it. So I bought a new backpack and a little boutique downtown in Phoenix, which is gonna double as my little souvenir of being in this town for a whole week. I walked around downtown and I went to the Japanese Friendship Garden, which was super cool, and I did a little bit of painting there. And Tim and I made plans to have lunch again. And on my way to the place we we're gonna have lunch, the shop called me. So the latest update in this farce that we're calling Amanda's trip to Southern California and Arizona is that the tech called me and let me know that my clutch is like 100% toast. <laughs> they have to buy all new springs and pressure plate, which won't be here till tomorrow. He said that as the tech was pulling my clutch apart, the pads were just flaking off because the clutch had got so hot. The springs and the new pressure plate were going to be another $100 and those parts wouldn't be here until Thursday, which put my leave date back another day to Friday. And I just told him to order the parts. I couldn't, I can't, yeah. So at this point I'm paying for the parts and the labor and two times overnighting parts to Phoenix. I'll be here another day. At this point, the universe is just laughing at me, so I'm just going with the flow. I'm not trying not to make plans. So after I had that lovely phone call, I had lunch with Tim, and I voiced my concerns to him about not being able to finish the captor and how everybody else was going to react when I had to tell them that I wasn't going to be able to finish. I was scared that I was gonna break my bike again and I'm, I can't afford to fix it again right now. I'm literally out of money. He kind of assuaged the guilt that I was feeling and kind of made me see like, it's not like you're just quitting because you had one bad day. Like, I actually f***ed up my bike. <laughs> That made me feel a lot better about telling the rest of the world that I, I can't do it. I can't finish the captor. After I had lunch with Tim, I went to Tempe in Phoenix, Arizona, and I had dinner with my friend Kira that I went to high school with, and I explored kind of some of the beachfront park area right there, which was cool. And I am waiting to hear an update from Phoenix Triumph. And I talked to Matt and Carl this morning, and Matt is going home. It just makes more sense for him. <laughs> Not exactly the trip that I had planned to show you guys, but I guess that's kind of how it normally goes, doesn't it? <laughs>
I think that I said this, and circle and the pilgrimage happens and we have to adjust. <laughs> Being able to enjoy the sunshine in Phoenix has been really awesome. Like for real? Oh, thank you so much. Can you give me an idea what the bells look like? My bike is done! Oh my god, finally. Uh, total number, $821. They said that the bike was done and he only had two main concerns. One is that my clutch cable is kind of stretched out. The second one, is that my clutch lever itself it has a little bit of free play up and down. $800. It's kind of an expensive, um, it's kind of an expensive trip to California, Amanda. Especially one that you spent most of your time in Arizona. At least my bike is done. My bike is done. I have a new backpack. I'm gonna go back to Tracy's house. I'm gonna get my gear, and then we're gonna go pick up my bike. Or we're going back to Tracy's house. I'm gonna make sure that I have enough money. And then we're gonna go get my bike. She's never been this clean before. <laughs> right, after five days of trying to run around with Ubers and getting rides from Tracy, Astraeus is finally fixed and we can finally get back on the road. Huge shout out to Phoenix Triumph for getting my bike fixed and done in such fast paced turnover. And I'm just so grateful to have my bike back. You guys don't even know. So I'm gonna get her packed up. I'm gonna go back to Tracy's house and load up. And then tomorrow morning, which will be Friday, I'm going to meet Carl back in like Havasu City. So everybody knock on wood and cross fingers that this is it. This is the only problems. And we'll make it back home in one piece. And hopefully with a little bit of money left in our pockets. <laughs> Good times. Damn it. <laughs> what happened there? Front wheel went down, back wheel followed it. I'm an idiot. Don't listen.
listen to what I say. I'm not sitting here too, but um, I'll just tell you the, the BDR track, it, it's hard. <laughs>